Hi everyone, welcome to Storytime with Michelle. I'm Michelle and I have a really fun, exciting, action-packed story to share with you today. It kind of reminded me of that Ninja Bunny story I shared with you a while back. If you haven't seen that story, I'll put a link to it up above. But in the meantime, I think you're really gonna love this one. It's a lot of fun. It's green lizards versus red rectangles. <laughs> It was written by Steve Antony. Have you ever seen this book before? I hadn't seen it before today and I really love it. I think you're gonna love it too. Here we go. Green Lizards versus Red Rectangles by Steve Antony. There are a lot of lizards and a lot of rectangles. The green lizards and the red rectangles were at war. The green lizards tried their best to defeat the red rectangles. They sure are trying hard. But the red rectangles were smart. Ooh, they kind of look like dominoes now, don't they? The red rectangles tried their best to defeat the green lizards. But the green lizards were strong. What are we fighting for? asked one green lizard. That's actually a very good question. But he was squashed. And this led to the biggest war ever. They fought. Oh my goodness, did they ever fight. Check them out. And fought and fought until, my goodness, they could fight no more. Enough is enough, said one red rectangle. The green lizards and the red rectangles gathered for a truce. And finally, they found a way to live peacefully together. The end. Oh, look at that. A little lizard and the big rectangle are friends now, I think. <laughs> that was such a fun story. Green lizards versus red rectangles. Who knew that they would be at war? And what a great story with some interesting vocabulary. Maybe there were some words in that story that you'd never heard before, like truce. Truce is when two people come together and try and work out their differences so that they can get along. Like the lizard and the rectangle finally decided to call off the war and come together for a truce so that they could just get along. <laughs> oh, I love that story. I hope you enjoyed it too. Share with me your favorite part of the story or your favorite picture in the book down in the comments section below. If you need to, you can go back and watch the story again so you can find exactly which page was your favorite. And if you have another book that you'd like for me to read, go ahead and let me know. I'd love to hear from you. And if you have a moment, subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and a like. Until next time, happy reading.